There we go. Mission gratuity is done. Perfect. And we found a bunch more people actually. The letter, Geneva. Mmm. Oh, 48 faith per turn. That's awesome. Need to get Kamasi back. That is a bit more of a problem because I I miss Kamasi utterly. I want to go to exploration as well. So let's get military training and then mercenaries and the medieval fairs and all that stuff. Wonders. New city states. Nobody's discovered any of this, by the way. This is all all new and wonderful. Yeah, the sea's not actually that small. It's um it's decent enough, but that's only a couple of turns of my settling across it. Like I've got some settlers ready to rock. Perfect. Cartography is done, and now we're like bump into the sea, you get settlers. Across you get. Let's go settle the new world. Nine gold to that route with Kamasi. Trajan has the twins. It's always slightly worrying. Kamasi's back on side now. That's good. I just need Nan the doll back on side. Where is this gone? Yeah. Well, actually, I've got one more invite. Okay, well, we'll hang on on that one for a second because I can get other city-states right now. What do I want? Granada is Alcazar's. Um, Ayataya, which is absolutely not how you say that, is culture equal to 10% of construction cost. We're going to pick that one up. I think Geneva is next on my list after that point. I also want to pick up Kilwa quickly, because Kilwa is going to be very, very handy. Zimbad has found a barb camp. Woohoo! Got military engineering and 400 gold. Just ready. Ready and tasty. Do I want to go on a city-state emergency to try and take over Johannesburg? No. Rome's got far too powerful. I made friends with them instead. I wussed out. I wussed out. And that, that's fine. I also realised that Rome will give me loads of money, in fact 69 gold, <laughs> to go to war with Genghis Khan, so we're doing that. Just because I kind of, I like the chaos, you know? Cool, and most people, everyone except from Byzantium are now at war with Mongolia as well, so that's that's quite fun. I believe this is my first city Just on the new settlement, uh, the new continent, which is awesome. Awesome stuff, and we... Love it. Right, first things first with these new cities is I'm going to just be building Kothon districts. We've got builders in there. I'll get monuments going. I'll get granaries going. I'll get water mills going. We're going to get these things like up and running as quick as we can. Carthage. Nice. Vatican is there. Nice. Oh, nice. That's a city-state trade route to the new world. Mm -hmm. Come on, Nana doll. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. However, the other city-states I absolutely can. There's a trade route to Geneva there, which is brilliant. That gives me a bunch more science. And then the letter lets me use my faith on things like, um, you know, buildings inside my new cities, which is awesome. So look, we're beginning to really explore this new continent now. Or oh, diamond industry, that's gold. Carthage is going to be an amazing trading hub once we get this city rocking. I'm pretty sure of that. Magnus is going to go into Carthage. I like the idea of that. The Another of city state over there. Nalanda. Okay. Okay. That's good. And Barb's first to kill. So there's another 400 gold. And Nanadol is back on side, even though I'm at war, which is useful. Actually, I was going to get some alliances going. Thinking about it, this is probably a good thing. Military alliances, weirdly enough, are the ones that I don't need. But if I go for a cultural alliance with Sevia. Means I'm not going to lose my cities, which is great. Um, I think the Incans screaming out for research alliance because these guys are normally with the big brain plays. We'll go for religious alliance with the Ottomans. No, they don't want that. But economic alliance. No, they don't want that. Military? No, they're just being really awkward. Luckily for them, I'm desperate for friends. Um, and then we'll go economic with Byzantium. Hooray! As much as I dislike getting him in, I think Sun Wukong actually would be a good pickup in this game. I'm just going to dump him onto the new continent and go and see what I can find. Another 44 gold per turn from Merchant Confederation. Banking is boosted now. I think I'm still, as I say, still getting ready to make a huge trading hub in my new cities. Armani, I'm going to stick in Kamasi just for a second because this is getting annoying now. I cannot keep this city. People are throwing envoys into them. Absolutely throwing them and it's just proving frustrating. But building two caravels. I've added something that I can get on board with. Oh, someone took Sun Wukong. That's frustrating. I literally was just about to build him. Never mind. Okay, I'm getting the Casa now. This is going to be fantastic. If I stick governors in my cities on different continents, I get 15% production, faith, and gold. So I've already got Magnus. We've got Victor. We've got Liang. 
all getting ready in these sort of new cities, which is great. Um, and you can see over here as well, I have another new city or, or four being produced, which is going to help me to take this area as well. Georgia. Oh, my word. Georgia, S tier. 138 signs per turn. Yeah. Good on you, my friend. Good on you. I always feel bad for this great admiral. She appears and it's like three permanent combat strength for all naval units. Yeah. Why bother keeping her around? Just instant retirement. She's got the best naval career out of everybody on this map. Hmm. Okay. Well, Georgia's just declared war on me immediately. Uh, why, why was that? Who, who did that? Someone, someone just declared war. I think she might have just declared war on an ally. But never mind. Merchant Republic. Hey, 10% gold in all cities with an established governor. That is the sort of stuff that we want. Right. Diplomatic League is still great. Merchant Confederation is still great. Uh, we've got Trade Confederation getting us a little bit of extra a culture and a science. Serfdom's great. Colonialization is great, but we're going to probably get rid of that quickly. Let's get Republican Legacy in. Colonial offices we don't need because we've got no competition on our new settled cities, which is just wonderful. Got a bit more harbor adjacency. Yeah, 14 extra gold that one gives us. And then military policies, press gangs. Limes. What do we fancy? Veterancy. I think veterancy because we're building loads of harbours everywhere. Another new city. This is also brilliant. Especially because I can just start buying in all of the infrastructure the city needs to get going right from the bat pretty much, which is awesome. New world order. Yep, I want that one. And let's have double cotton because, I mean, honestly, who knows what's going on these days. Uh, no gypsum. A well, diplomatism. there you go. Now you know. Right, Kamasi is finally mine, as is Nan Nadol. How much, how much of a sway have I got over Kamasi? Quite a bit, but I really do want to keep them. But, I mean, for now, we're just going to have to back off just a bit because I've got other more important fish in the sea. Like Auckland, for instance, is an amazingly useful one for me because, bam, suddenly all of my coastal tiles have one extra production and that'll be two once I get into the industrial era which is the next era. More possible trade routes. I think Granada is the next one so we'll pop that in. Nice. Huh. Oh I must have not had the policy card in when I met them first time. What do they want? Train a knight. Really? I don't even know what knights are. I mean I'll give it a go but I feel it's a bit harsh. I do have to say, if you ever fancy a satisfying way to play Civ, oh, the Terra map, the Terra map with the city-states, it, it really is, it, it's just a thing of beauty. We're starting to get everything lined up though, let's just quickly see which trade routes are going to be possible, like this city-state I could easily trade to, Vatican, I probably can trade to as well, but it's a little further away, so I'm going to actually take that one and then We've got another one on the other side, maybe like Fez. Fez is probably a good one to pick up. So we'll do that and then Kusploosh like that with more of the map gets uncovered every day. That is, however, all the way around the continent that I can get. Looks like it's landlocked on the southern end and you can get around on the north and then this continent might be the exact opposite, but that's okay. Sinbad, you are a legend. You have done me proud. Very, very proud. I just don't want to circumnavigate the world for another three turns, which is a little awkward seeing as your lifespan is four turns. But we're not going to talk about your imminent mortality and death and... No! No, we don't have to talk about that. It's fine. It's fine. Grant's a free trader, you say? Oh my. Yes. Yes, I will have that. Oh, and of course, I really should have used the Vatican's ability in a more sensible way than doing that. But that's okay. This Admiral, though. Okay, I can use that in a more sensible way. Hang on, right, where does the, where does you go? Oh, I can't actually, oh, I hate this. It's like, you can teleport to harbors, but not from harbors. So annoying. You know, I never feel like I need to explain myself, but just, you know, I just, sometimes I just lose the will. <laughs> One more city state. <laughs> oh, Carthage, you will become a hub, my friend. An absolute hub. Golden Age time. Every, gee, everybody's in the Dark Age now. That's good fun. Hick Sunt Dracones. All of my new cities in the new continent will start with four population. I mean, that is quite handy. Or I could just purchase them with the large amounts of faith that I'm producing. Do I want more cities or do I want them to settle better? I've got, I've got a lot of them. Let's make them settle better. 
600 Connors. And circumnavigation, which means I get the five points on the new era as well. That's pretty good. Sinbad is gone. But I have a beautiful, beautiful heroic relic now. And I think I'm pretty much can summon him back almost immediately. Next turn, 850. That's pretty useful. There you go. The Admiral pops down. And my religion now spreads to these new cities, which makes it, you know, quite useful. Um, Nalanda. I think Nalanda's the other side of the continent, isn't it? Yeah, so trade routes to that one are going to be trickier. So really, what I'm looking at is just getting the most envoys possible. That Vatican route's pretty good. That'll give me two envoys there, so done. There's Sinbad. He's back. He's ready to go. Actually, I can just teleport him straight to the danger zone, which is down here. Na, na, to the danger zone. Yeah. Miss Admiral, again, I'm thinking more of using them to spread my religion around. It's, it's pretty bad, that, but, you know, I don't really see much else really to do with them. Aha, these are where diplomatic policy cards become important. Raj is here. Raj is a really good one. We're going to put that because it gives me just a ton of everything. And colonial taxes. It's just a more complicated card, but 53 gold now. Just anything coming from the new world is going to be much, much better. I tell you what, building Kilwar is going to be just insane as well. Right, let's just get the shipyard in quickly. That shades a turn off it. Nice. My Incans are happy about the fact that I'm not settling in the heights. I mean, sure. The castle has been built. Now, I learnt my lesson on this one. You have successes. to have a governor in the city to receive the bonus. And the bonus is 15% production, faith and gold in a city as long as it's not on your original continent. Which basically means my new capital is going to get it. I also got the Great Lighthouse because, you know, I could build it in a second city and it was really, really quick to build. Plus one movement for all naval units means that Sinbad now skates around like a mad leprechaun on an Irish pool of ice. I don't even know if that's a thing. I mean, it sounds like it should be a thing. If not, oh, hello. That was a randomly aggressive zoom in. Ooh, ooh, blimey. Two more envoys, though. Mmm. Okie dokie. I think I'm going to start getting some more gold in. So it's Marcand and Kukia. Kwabam. Two more city states. Two more joyous things. So Pingala is still in Sidon, but apart from that, I can now afford to just get a few more governors into random places. Amani, I mean, we'll look at you in a second, but Moksha, I'm going to put you on this coastal city and then we'll go for Reina. Yes, I've got the full, you know, crew. I get that. That's fine. I'm going to put you in Lexus like there and then Nora's got somebody. Ziz, I might as well put someone in. I'm doing it, honestly. Keep an eye on Kamasi, actually. Somebody might grab it from me. Oh no, Tamaris took their Amani out. So that's that's good. But I'm going to finally get my gilded vault buildings because those are awesome. A military emergency? Nah. I'm not getting involved. I'm I'm staying out of this sort of stuff. Just taking over Granada with another trade route. I've got two cities now that are sending them from various places. Carthage is going to be my main city but Anyuk is a very good city as well. But not just I'm not messing Kilwa around is there is the, the Kilwa now this thing in my in new world. capital my amazing capital is going to be 15% on all the yields because I pretty much have every single city state suzerain but it's also going to be another 15% across my empire because I have again pretty much every single city state double suzerain so that is quite the pickup for me how do we enjoy this best what's what is best for us to do here with our three envoys I could I mean, Amar, let's pick up Amar, let's pick up Leventa, and let's pick up uh, Nalanda. Yes, in fact, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to not pick up Amar, and I'm going to pick up Geneva instead. Like so, bam, 166 science per turn. That's a pretty cool. Oh, there's a lot of production in this city now. Huge amount. We have a mausoleum. Four turns. I'll do it. Oh, there was a barbarian settler just floating in the ocean. I, I don't know how they got there. I don't know why they're there, but I will take it. Perfect. All of that is really good. We are enjoying ourselves today. I love this little this little kingdom we've got on this second continent. The barbs are giving me like problems every now and then, but not not too bad. It's mainly just this missionary keeps getting pinned down and it's like, please don't kill me. And like a crossbow. Oh no. Praying walls. Everyone dead. Signy. Didn't see where Signy was. Oh, it's just up there. 
Okay, well, there you go. Garzagamu, Mitla. Okay, these are city-states that are going to be far more competitive. Yeah, seven population. But if I can pick that one up, oh, that would be like a, a lot of military strength very quickly. More city-state quests. I need to build a campus, which I'm doing, and a theatre square, which I'm doing. And all of those people want a great general. So I might just shove a load of faith in and get like a bunch of envoys. That'd be pretty cool. Where's my campus? My campus is being built down there. That's good. Line inventory, pike and shot, bombards. Okay, line inventory, pike and shot, or bombards. I can't build any of those. No wonder people want me to make them, hey? Scotland, 143 sides. Lovely to meet you. How are your golf courses going, sir? I'm also going to settle on the other side of the continent, which is awesome. A sprawling empire, one might say. Actually, the fact that I've only just got the sprawling empire is actually a little bit worrying. Like, who's been settling and, and how come? The tomb of Mausoleum. The tomb of Mausoleum. Haleki Karnassus wanted to build a mausoleum that was a tomb next to the mausoleum. As in no the tomb. I think it's quite boast. clear actually. I don't know why people get confused about that. Anyway, look, my, my gems industry behind as well. Oh, beautiful little city this one. And I think Auckland by now, yeah, is giving me two production per tile as well, which is just a wonderful thing and we love it to bits. Now, what my safest trade routes here? Barbs keep killing some of my routes, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll kind of make do with what we've got. We'll send one there. And, oh uh, no, that's the one that keeps getting killed. Let's send him over here instead. Great. Forms an armada out of a military naval unit. Ooh. Oh well. Great merchant grants three envoys at City State. That's the sort of great merchant I like. And you know what? I will give it to Kamasi. Because Kamasi's the one giving me just like by far the most stuff. Just, oh, all the culture and gold from my City State trade route. So, yeah. That's, I'm happy to take that. That's that's cool. Oh, immediately put a new city down on the north of continent, and that's a honey industry, which makes the place grow significantly quicker than it has any right to. That's cool. And there is Gustavos, which means that I'm going to get a recruited group person in Armar, Anishan, Bologna, and Singapore all in one go. It's like bam. Oh, you gotta love it. Egypt only got 43 science, so not doing anywhere near as well from what I can tell. Oh well, two people I haven't met yet. They're going to be somewhere in the middle. The people who get stuck in the middle of the terror map, they, that's the sort of luck those guys will have had. Oh man, Mahabodhi Temple was just built and I had one turn left on it. Science. Oh, that's annoying. It's a low priority build, but still very annoying. Let's get the Gilded Vault done instead, but ugh, I can't believe they did that. I have the world's first armada. Oh, I just uh, stole one of our Rome cities. That's quite nice. Oh, I think that's even got a little canal potential. Hello. Hello, cheeky canal. I mean, that's not a priority really, but you know, we'll we'll build we'll build it in a second once we've got the comp fund done. Carthage is now giving me 400 gold per turn. And it's got a minus 10% immunity modifier, so. Yeah, there's a lot more we could do to make that city happy. That's that's an amazing turnout for me. I love it. Be even better if it had a factory, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, 113 production. All these routes are doing great. 19 gold, but don't forget, with that plus 100% uh, bonus, actually gave me 37 gold. So it is about double gold on the trade routes at the moment, which is just delightful. I've got a lot of military... <laughs> Capability, put it that way, because if I get the minus 50% on faith, that'll be brilliant. And I also like the idea of getting harbour buildings quicker as well. So we'll put five votes on each. I don't know if either of them will go through, but it's a little bit of a shunt. Campus and production. No, we didn't win either. So that was pointless. It was totally pointless, but, you know, we, ha we, had, a f we had fun. He turns the lights the on. Music. Not in my capital. In my new capital. Neo capital. Better. Better capital. Another great merchant. Two envoys of that one. Nice. On the way to economics. It's taken a while to get there, but once we do, it should be good fun. Gain two envoys. I think I quite like the envoys on this guy. Uh, and I quite like to culture bomb, or sorry, religious bomb with Vatican. So I'm going to just drop it there and see what happens. I'm sorry, What what is this city called? I'm sure. And Kasploosh. Should we pick up candy? It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so we'll, we'll do it. Yay! Ah, another suzerain. 
we, we didn't have anywhere near enough, so I'm glad that we have that security now. Mongolia, are you attacking Nanadol? I, I don't appreciate that. That is giving me a lot of culture. A lot of culture. I'm on 609 culture per turn. It's 154, 267 science. It's not a bad run at all. Like, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. Pretty happy. Economics as well is going to give me corporations and that. That is going to get silly very quickly. I know I keep saying it, but Carthage's growth has been so beautiful. Oh, I'm so proud of it. Like a strange father figure or something. Like, I'm watching it going, oh. Yes! Yes! Good on you, child! Although I am actually going to build a water park, because what else do I give children than water parks? That seems to be the natural cause here. Colossus! Colossus because Ursa Ryan doesn't have enough trade sun. routes, so we built a huge man of hulking bronze, bronze which will slowly turn green and the then mines. will collapse in some sort of historically uncertain event that was probably seismic, but we can never be sure. And now he has a trade route. Can we all just agree that Ursa Ryan the musical would be, like, the next big thing? It, it, it's what everybody wants to hear for Christmas. Like, imagine a CD. Oh, I could flog that for millions of pounds. Everyone would want it. What, what, what do you mean you wouldn't want it? And, oi, 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 oi. I'm watching you, Mongolia. I'm not allied to you. I will come here and I will... Mm, I will nan your nadol. In fact, actually, there's an admiral. Right, you know what, the admiral? I'm just gonna sail suspiciously close and he will pop into an ironclad like at the bare mention of trouble. So don't even, don't even think about it. It's a useless, absolutely useless great engineer. He gives culture bombs when completing industrial zones, but it's not useless because pop goes my religion. Man's I'm, history. I'm not saying Until anything. I'm just unaware wonder. of anything right now that could be at all culturally important. Important for the, you know, historical progress of this channel or the videos that I put up. I'm just going to skip ahead. Economics I mean, I, 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 oh, there we go. There's Look, there's something really interesting. Economics. Woohoo. Stock exchanges, corporations. Both of these things are, are genuinely important. Um, Carthage. Right, Carthage, you know, needs to grow, needs to continue to grow, and oh, Zanzibar has appeared, by the way, that is genuinely awesome. Train and artillery. Zanzibar, you've only just existed, like, you've just popped into existence, you do not need to be bringing artillery into the world, that is not a sensible thing for you to do. But, with a stock exchange, which is a two-turn thing, I can start to build my products, and products are going to do a lot of good for me. Speaking of products, the other thing I need to build is, uh, where is it? Seaports. I need to own two privateers. I don't even care about privateers being Frank. I don't, I don't even know who Frank is, but I don't care about him. And, you know, oh well, I'm just going to continue to send all the traders from here. That's good. Perfect. So, I believe, yeah, there's an aquarium in three turns. I'm just going to use my 2,000 gold per turn to be, you know, just buy that next time round. That's pretty cool. Now all I need is a corporation. Actually, there you go. I might as well just build it then. I'm not doing anything better. No, I'll just continue to build the settlers. But I need a corporation in the diamonds industry. Oh, look, it's a great merchant. What spectacular timing. Oh, my word. You couldn't have asked for it better. There we go. Right, next turn, he'll go to pop that together. Corporation, 50% gold in the city is just the first boost. Hey, guys, do you want to look at my shiny stones? No? 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 Oh, come on. Everyone wants to. They're, they're wonderful things. How do I get the aquarium in this city, which is genuinely pretty good because it has a bunch of science stuff, my already horrifically scientific sea tiles. Let's get that settler finished. And then, oh look, it's diamond products. Diamond products. No one knows why I'm building so many, but I am. One more route to Zanzibar and kaboof. Not only is it a new suzerain state, but it also gives me a bunch more amenities, which is a wonderful thing. Carthage is still only plus two, which is really annoying, but I'm building a zoo. It's already got the aquarium. I think this is gonna be, it's, it's gonna be forced to be happy before it knows it. Some of these names are fantastic. Hipponessa Sinus, oh. I mean, what they're doing to that hippo, I don't know. And quite frankly, I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, Mongolia, I'm still, still looking at you here. Still looking at you. Zion Cloud's just gonna, gonna chill. 
denouncing you just so that I can do a protector at war like as quickly as I can. What sort of navy have I got? I think I've got ships in various places. Let's get that ironclad to come over. Uh, everyone else is just sort of swanning around the sea in random places. Quadrim, let's bring that over. Uh, no one's really sure what army I've got. Oh wow, I am producing boats at a lightning pace. Like every turn I'm producing one or two. I haven't even built the Venetian arsenal. That's the sad thing in all of this. No Venetian arsenal to be seen anywhere in my city. Actually, I could, I could just start building that. I was going to. Just as sort of like the... I guess it's sort of like the weapons of mass destruction, mutually assured annihilation of this map. Just Venetian arsenal absolutely swamping it with boats and just be sort of like, go on then, attack me. I dare you. Frank Cost me 150 there culture there. 150. And of course, I missed my opportunity to declare on them to liberate. Um, that was a mistake. Never mind. We'll wait a couple of turns and we'll go for them anyway. So I have democracy now. So I'm going to get laissez-faire because that's going to give me an amazing amount of our admiral and merchant points and all this sort of stuff. And democracy gives all of my trade routes just that, that absolute classic wambalism that we're looking for here. New Deal, all the amenities and all of my improved cities, mercantile legacy, definitely need that. I really want Republican legacy in, but I just do not have enough cards. I think I've got to get building some wonders. I really do. Some good... Policy card giving wonders. City state emergency. Yep, I'd like to pass that. That would be an amazing thing if I could pick that victory up. And Carthage has the first. Oh, the monolith all consuming mining equipment product. It gives 25% gold yield. It's, I mean, it's amazing. This city is now on 155% gold yield. It's producing a thousand gold. I'm up to 2,469 gold per turn. This is not a challenge. This is just a regular map. And we are loving it. Yep, it went through. We're going to vote five votes into this one. Let's see if the city-state emergency goes through. I hope it does. We should make a few friends and get a lot of map visibility from doing this. We only just met Babylon as well. Perfect. I mean, you are clearly in on this war. Who is it? Me, Suleiman, Rome. Okay, maybe not. It's just us three. But, I mean, this is going to be quite simple. I mean, it's, it's literally the city is right here um we might just need to spend a couple of turns just making sure that i've dispensed with all of the ranged defenses um you know the huge huge mongolian range defense it's dead they're all dead now i do have this ironclad armada which is pretty tough oh they've got a trebuchet hang on i i may have underestimated the mongolian resistance here oh hang on laissez-faire Two merchant points for every bank, four for every stock exchange, two admiral points for every shipyard, four for every seaport. That is going to get crazy really quickly because that's all we're building in at the moment. Just like, hello, I have gold. Bam. A one banana, two banana, three banana, charge. Charging into Nanda doll, liberating it to a city state. Ah, uh, everyone's happy now. How many, how many envoys do we get? Six. Hey, that's pretty good. Six, no one else has got any. It worked. We got lots of stuff. That was probably the easiest emergency we've ever done. Second product has just appeared in Carthage. Our gold is now up to plus 180%. Ho, 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 ho. Two turns on the Diamond Corporation. That's awesome. We made a new friend in Mahanjadara there as well, which is more water. A thousand culture per turn. 400 science per turn. A little boat community. This is working quite nicely for me, actually. Torrey de Belém has been built in what I think assailed. might be my fourth city. Fourth or fifth? Maybe even sixth. I don't know. Whatever it is, it has these horrible holes that always makes me think of some sort of insect-like lava thing or like a wasp's nest or some sort of like hole in someone's face. I know it's a geothermal fish. I know that's what it is, but it makes me every time. 86 merchant points per turn. Per turn? A merchant every six turns? Well, that's good. Um, I think a Truffles Corporation is going to be the first thing I build here. I need to get as many of these gold products as we can. Up to 3,220 gold per turn already, which is just awesome. And Carthage has just built itself an aquatic center, which means it's now on six amenities. And then this city has got itself a stadium, which means that it's now on eight amenities. And I think Carthage is now... Like once it just see how it's on nine 
It'll, that, that'll, you know, adjust itself because unfortunately those two luxuries will get taken away. But that now means we've got the 20% amenity bonus. We're on 200% gold. Ah. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trafford Askby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, and Kroger Brand Trail Mix for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you very much.